we had been following a secret map to the number cruncher's winter hideout. The boss, we've been on this snowy trail for hours. How much longer till we get there? Silence, fish. A spy never whines. Hmm. What are these weird symbols, boss? Ah, these are not just symbols, fish. They represent different types of lines. <gasps> We're never going to get to our destination. Zip it, fish. All we must do is figure out the symbols. This sign is a symbol for a ray. It starts at one point, which is where we're standing, and goes on forever. Wait, forever? We have to be back by Tuesday. This sign has the symbol for a line. It goes on forever in both directions. Boss! Even if we didn't have to get back, how can we go into... Someone is whining again. This sign is a symbol for a line segment. It starts at one point and ends at another point. Here's Hadaway. Oh, I see it. The hideout. <laughs> once again, math saves the day. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't think I could walk any longer. Was planning to use his supercomputer to spread a virus to all the computers in the world. We had to shut it down before. <laughs> yeah, it's a number cruncher. You're too late, Pepe. In just 60 seconds, the virus will launch, and all the numbers in the world will get a clown makeover. <laughs> Sorry, boss. My uncle was a clownfish. He was hilarious. Silence, fish. We'll see who has the last laugh, number cruncher, when I shut down your not-so-super computer. Access denied. That's actually a good look on you, boss. Ha! You'll never figure out the passcode. The number's so huge, it's even bigger than your behind. I appreciate the compliment. But there's no number big enough to describe my derriere. I don't know, boss. This one's seven digits long. That is nothing if you understand place value. Knowing how greedy number cruncher is, he surely picked the biggest digit possible for each place. Nine. That means the code is... Nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine. Access granted. Once again, math saves the day. Launch self-destruct. We gotta get out of here, boss. Boss? To the number cruncher's evil lair. Easily. The hard part would be leaving. We're doomed. Silence, fish. The exit is right over there. Number cruncher. What are you doing, ho? You're supposed to be at spin class. Spin class was cancelled. No! Well, I'm gonna be a fish kebab. Since meeting you both is a special occasion, I'll let you go. If you can solve this equation, that ejection button can be reached by one of these poles. Do the math, and you'll leave with no hole. No one can solve such a problem. It's too hard. <laughs> Easy. Based on my super spy observation, the area of this room, which is the floor, is 48 square feet, and the width is 6 feet. Math tells us that the area of a room is equal to its length times its width. So, what times 6 equals 48? Wednesday? I really need to think about getting a new fish. No, the answer is 8. 8 times 6 equals 48. So we need the 8-foot pole, which is the exact length of the room. <laughs> Once again, Matt has saved the day. The number cruncher is at it again. He is planning to release a pack of math attack dogs trained to eat children's math homework. Our mission 
is to stop him. But boss, the number cruncher could be anywhere. I know exactly where he is. I've placed a tracker on his crunch mobile. We are here on Highway AB. The number cruncher is here on Highway CD. See how these two highways go in the same direction and are the same distance apart the whole way. That means they are parallel to each other. But how are we going to stop him if the roads we're on never cross? This is how. Highway XY. It intersects with highways AB and CD. When they meet, they form the right angle. That means Highway XY is perpendicular to highways AB and CD. Hang on, fish. Look, boss, the Crutchmobile. <laughs> uh, now what? We do a little homework. Once again, math saves the day. Number Conscious drones were dropping incorrect math textbooks all over Math Metropolis. The city was being crushed under the weight of their preposterous pages. <laughs> Fish, hurry it up with the jamming device. Good work, Fish. Thanks, boss. <sighs> Good thing I brought the assembly instructions. We need 12 rows of six parts. Six times 12? Well, well that's like 6,000 parts. Oh, no. We don't have enough parts. 6,000? Where did you learn such terrible math? Ta! Do not trust that treacherous tome fish. Not when the answer is so easy to find. Six times 12 may seem hard to solve, but it's not. If you know the answers to 6 times 10 and 6 times 2. Since 10 and 2 add up to 12, the answer to 6 times 12 is the same as the answers to 6 times 10 and 6 times 2 added together. That would be 60 plus 12, which equals 72. See, fish, even you can solve that. Quick, fish, pass me 72 pieces. Once again, math saves the day. Papas, they're headed right toward us. We're goners. Well, at least this book is good for something, no? We had just found the evil lair of the number cruncher, but something was wrong. It was as if the walls were closing in. They are, boss. Silence, fish. There is a solution to every problem. We will find a way out. Voila! There it is. The sum you get from adding two numbers will save you from a forever slumber. The answer is in the code. But, boss, the numbers are so big. Hmm. Piece of cake. You figured it out already? No, I just felt like cake. Let us do the math. 1,200,003 plus 1,750,200 is 2,950,203. Boss, hurry. Silence, fish. You must always check your work. Boss, quick. <laughs> and no surprise, I am right. Once again, math saves the day.